you're not going to believe what's coming to Drupal with AI. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training, and I've been teaching Drupal now for, well, since 2011, and been in the Drupal community since before then. I'm not sure there's ever been a better time in Drupal. And if you've been keeping up with what's going on in Starshot or Drupal CMS, this is no news to you. I'm recording this the day after the Dries note at DrupalCon Barcelona, where he demoed a whole bunch of the new features coming in Drupal CMS, including AI. So let me show you what's going on with just a few things that they're doing. So I'm on a brand new installation of Drupal, and I have installed the following modules. The AI core module, uh, the latest development version, content editing tools, CK editor integration, API explorer, as well as OpenAI provider. You will need a paid OpenAI service for this. AI agents, assistant API, content types, views, web forms, and chatbot. And in the description below, I've got a link to the video that explains how to install all of this and how to set it up. And head over to configuration AI. I've already configured my OpenAI settings, but here on the agent settings, you'll see that currently, there's a taxonomy agent, views, web form, node content type agent, and field type agent. And then you create an AI assistant for the chatbot. This one is pretty straightforward. You're an assistant that performs tasks on a Drupal website. You are using the agent actions that we've installed. And then down here under your advanced settings, there's a pro action prompt that's actually written for you and available in the module files themselves. And you have to add that to your settings.php. Again, I'm going to encourage you to watch the video in the description below to head over and see how all of this gets installed. But let me show you just what it does. I'm going to click on the chat bot here, and I'm just going to ask, what can you do? This one works with the agents. It's not a content chat bot. It's an agent chat bot. So it allows me to manage taxonomy, views, manage content types, add, edit, inform, or remove basic information on Drupal nodes and content types, and individually manage fields. So from our site building class, I'm going to ask, create a content type for hotels, including an image field, description, and star rating one to five. Press enter and it's going to think for a minute. Now this does take a few seconds. And here's my hotel content type with the description field, the image, and the star rating field. If I add content, there it is. I can add an image and a star rating, one to five stars. And there's my description field. Unbelievable. What about a taxonomy? No problem. I'm going to head back, grab my chatbot. Please add a taxonomy called amenities and populate it with common hotel amenities. So when the chatbot's done, it's going to give me a quick summary of what it did. It's created it. In fact, it even corrected my spelling mistake on the word amenities. And I'm going to ask it now, add a field to the hotel content type using this taxonomy. I don't even have to define the taxonomy. I just have to continue talking to my chatbot. Yeah, this is pretty cool. And there we have all the amenities that ChatGPT decided were common to most hotels. Now, if I go to content, add content, and hotels, there they are. Yes, it's in a select list. I'd have to update that. Well, that's just a couple of the things that are coming to Drupal with AI integration. You probably noticed 
I've got AI integration enabled in CK Editor, and there's just a ton more coming really quickly. There's new automators coming, agents coming, and more. And we're going to cover all of those things in upcoming videos. Well, thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. Hey, if you're looking for more training in Drupal, head over to OSTraining.com. We've got some great courses over there, and we'd love to see you there.